Hello everybody, uh, this is Sierra coming to you from my new desk that I um, got last week. What I wanted to do was a quick video um, of my newest addition to my collection which is my Vanderspeck Tortora Croco with the Barbie Napa interior. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about it because um, I'm struggling a bit just because it is, it's just so different. Um, and so I thought I'd jump on and make a quick video. Um, so what's interesting about the Vanderspeck is that um, this particular person, it's a custom, um, it's not a touch me model, so um, someone actually put in like a custom order for it. And um, she ordered it with a stiffener, she ordered it um, with 30 millimeter rings, it has the standard pockets, um, which I'll show you guys. But then she also added uh, 1.5 centimeters width, which is actually, you know, she did this so she could fit Franklin Covey inserts, but I actually don't use Franklin Covey. Um, bear with me here. So um, I'm, I'm in the process of determining whether or not I want to uh, switch to personal size inserts because I printed some already and you can see um, they'd fit perfectly and they'd still allow enough for a divider so if I show you at the top um, it's like I could even put them in for you guys actually but um, so it's perfect for personal wide but the whole you know the whole process of getting new dividers new dashboards um, even if I didn't want to invest that much and I wanted to just kind of, um, you know, do, do the bare minimum, there just isn't the inserts I want in that personal wise size. So um, I'm struggling a bit with that. I'm trying to get out right now. I should have done this before I started, but um, this is a personal size Campania from Gilio. It's in the Anthracite Ostrich, um, just to show sizing. So can see the extra width. I was told Vanderspeck um, already is a little bit more wider, like their models just come wider. This has the 30 millimeter rings in there, so that's why there's that, um, like the inserts are coming up right up to the edge. If you would order this directly, it'd have smaller rings. So for anyone who's like, what the heck? Um, they were, the Campania and Gilio, you can tell, was really designed for 25 millimeter rings, but um, that's just not something I'm um, I can do really. So that's just for for sizing, um, but so maybe you guys can help me in the comments, like what you guys would do. Um, I think right now I, I did order some personal ride dividers from um, Hannah of Banana, Banana Doodle Shop, um, and so you know we'll see um, and go from there. I have some inserts already, but I don't have any of like the calendar inserts, etc. So. In terms of my setup for this, um, you guys will recognize a lot because I, you know, I don't really switch up the bare essentials that I need in terms of inserts. I really, and you know, as I, um, in my last video, I explained one of my main planner philosophies that I've learned about myself through this journey is really that I like to keep all my inserts uh, throughout the entire year. I can't function well with you know, a couple of weeks here and there, or, you know, take in and out a month at a time, I really like to have it all there. So you'll see that I have every, you know, January through December in here, um, and that's just what works best for me. The pockets on the Vanderspeck, there's card slots. Um, I haven't really decided what I want to do with these because the card slots are really just for cards. They're not very wide, so you can't fit um, a lot of stuff in there. I have my trial schedule here that I've written out. This is just a laminated, um, and it's I actually had made it into a um, bookmark, but um, I'm not using it right now, and I liked it there. Uh, these dividers I made myself. I actually have like a whole set, but um, I only need two for this. The first section is just um, notes, like random stuff. So like right now, I just have like big things that I don't want to forget about, which are I need to book my flights for my Nashville girls trip that's coming up, and I need to figure out our family photos, what we're going to wear. 
So just some uh, pages in here, and usually like after, I mean these are stuff I can throw away really easily. Um, oh, I just painted my nails and they're getting all gross. Oh well. Um, this is my planning section, so I have um, some of my favorite stickers for Minimalist Planner, and then I also just listed out the subscriptions I'm currently sus subscribed to so I can keep track. Um, I also have a current planner collection which is just in disarray because I've sold and bought uh, recently within the last month. So like for example I have no more pocket size planners. Um, I've obviously added this which is considered more of a personal wide size I suppose. Um, and then I did add my, um, I still have my Mia Cara in the Lotus. Um, no one's picked that up yet. But I have an add to planner section. Um, this is just um, me planning out what I need to get and do for my office. And this is where I'm just going to like brainstorm. Like right now I'm trying to decide the personal wide stuff um, and so forth. Next is my schedule section. So this is very similar. But like I said, I have January uh, through December in here. Uh, I do not have weekly inserts. Um, as in like a week vertical or horizontal. I just have these minted sugar um, like week on one page like planning um, inserts in here. I do, I am starting to miss the weekly inserts but I have weekly inserts in, in my work planner. Um, let's see if I can, so like you can see that here. Um, that's why, you know, I was writing in here at work and then I would be like writing, some of the stuff would get transferred into here, some wouldn't. I'm like, this is so silly. Um, but I'm trying to find, uh, what works for me there. Um, the next section is just, um, my notes section. These are my favorite inserts from Annie Plans Printables. I just write out, uh, what I need to do, like, really quickly. Um, a little bit like a brain dump, but, um more so like as I need it like it's not every day it's like if I can't keep track of everything so I have a little bookmark in here these are all from Canco XOXO um, I really like her little um, cabochon and little paper clips they're really pretty um, flowers that sort of thing um, these go all the way back to when let's see I think I when I started using these so February of uh, February 17th Next is my memo section. I'm planning out uh, my son's birthday party. This is just like lists and random notes. The next big session, which I spend a majority of my time in during the day besides my to-do section here, is uh, my goal section. So I have goals for myself personally and then I have my work goals. Um, and then I have the next section is my fitness. I'm using Minted Sugar um, top tabs, so I, I have some side tabs, I have some top tabs, um, and, and I interchange them out. It's really working well. I love this. I love the colors. It's so nice. Um, so in here, I have my, let's see here, I have my um, fitness tracker, so whenever I work out, I write it down, and then I go back and count up how many hours and how many workouts I did each month. Um, just to compare, and I've actually been doing this for, gosh, I want to say for about six years now. I used to do it in an Excel spreadsheet, and I still have that Excel spreadsheet. It's on Google, uh, Google Sheets or Google Docs, but, um, you know, having it on paper is really, uh, satisfying to me. Um, so I'm, I'm going to continue to do that, but I may end up transferring this to that Excel sheet, because I can actually, like, calculate using the equations and so forth to kind of run some stats. It's kind of nice. Uh, maybe see some trends. Like I'm hoping I can run a report and like see trends that I work out less in March or more in April or whatever. These are my weekly or monthly workouts. I actually write out, like I plan each month in advance and I've explained this before, but it works out really well. Um, it doesn't always stay this way. I mean, stuff comes up, schedules change, but it's nice to have it written out. Have a weight log in the back. Then the next part is just straight wellness, and I'm talking mental, like self-love wellness. Um, so I moved my daily affirmations from my Stayology. I used to write it every day in my Stayology, but I found that I actually like to have them like in a list versus just one on each page. So um, it's fun. It's nice to have. So 
April for you guys. Again, these are from Canco Exo. I think it's just pretty and quaint. Um, then I have my gratitude journal, which I've been doing since October of last year, so that's fun to have in here. Um, then I have my health log, and I've been doing this since October as well, and I, it's pretty personal stuff, just kind of tracking my sleep, my energy levels, um, how I'm feeling, if I was productive or not. And these inserts, did I cut them out wrong. I don't know what the hell happened, um, but I really hate wasting paper, especially since I like this paper so much. So I'm just going to use them. Um, it's annoying though. Doctor's visits. And then the next section is my family section. Um, I moved Liam's stuff into a sec separate section. So he has his own health log. Um, his stuff is very um, kind of, I don't know, elementary. It's like sleep, food, and whether or not he's, um, you know, teething or whatnot. So pretty bare minimum. But it's good to look back to see when he was last sick, when the teething popped up, because it's really hard to remember. Next is my meal planning. Uh, I've been using my newest addiction. Um, inserts for these for this for a month or so two months just because they're so pretty and I needed to kind of have something that I actually looked forward to writing in and then I started um, a four-week cleaning rotation this took me a while to figure out you know what to do where and what week um, really it came down to doing uh, a weekly changing it up every week and you know I've done that in my other videos but um, then starting to realize, okay, what actually needs to get done uh, bi-weekly or weekly, and then that's how I created this. So keeping those prior inserts, not throwing them away, and then analyzing them is really how I came up with this. Um, I can do a separate video on this if, if you want, but it really is personalized, and if you guys need ideas on what you need to clean, because I personally couldn't think of things I needed to clean, I don't really regularly think about that. Uh, Martha Stewart has some really great checklists. I actually printed them out. Uh, weekly, you know, things that she does, seasonal, monthly, um, and I just picked from her stuff too and added it to my, my own tracker. Uh, meal options list, and then in the back here I have a Rifle Paper Company, um, I don't know what size this is, is this pocket? I don't think so, maybe A6. Um, it's just note paper, I actually haven't used it yet, but, um, it worked, it fit, and you know, if there's something I need to write down that I don't really like, I don't want to use paper in here, I can just quickly go to that. I don't know what that is. Um, and in the back here, I have a current printout of my case uh, assignments, and um, I have some notes from a debacle that happened at daycare. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know about that. So I just have my handwritten notes from that um, detailing chronologically what I was told and when um, and then emails I sent and when I asked for specific documentation. So yeah, that's my Vanderspeck and I um, briefly, I know this, I don't want to keep, I don't want to make this like 30 minutes long, but I wanted to explain how this fits into my whole system um, for those of you who are curious. So if you want to keep watching, go ahead. If not, you know, I won't know, <laughs> so you can jump off, but um, I still use my Stylogy every day. I don't um, feature it as often on my Instagram just because it is really personal. I really, it's really hard for me to show portions of this without divulging um, just personal stuff that's going on. So um, I don't use it religiously, so I don't get mad at myself if I don't write in it every day. I don't like, you know, feel like I, I don't know you know, oh, you didn't write in it for a week, you know, now feel bad or whatever. It's just kind of what comes up. So, like, there is still a day per um, per page and then a weekly page at the beginning of the of each week, and the weeks are numbered by um, just some, they're actually for daily um, little stickers, but they work really well for weeks. And it's kind of nice. Like, we're going to be going into week 16. Um of 2018 already out of 52 weeks so it's kind of neat to know but so I will like sometimes I'll open this up and I'll have days worth that are just blank and I'll just start like I'll just number I'll just uh, date it and I'll say you know I'm writing on the 20th of April and this is what I'm writing um, it can be anything from lists ideas um, kind of how I'm feeling if I'm frustrated about certain things writing it out um, if certain things are kind of sticking with me that I'm irritated about when I probably should have gotten over it about an hour ago, I write that out. 
Um, and then the back it's still a journal and so that's just kind of extra pages. And this one specifically goes through June at six months and then I have another one that start that'll start up in July and it'll be brand new. So that I carry with me every day. I do not have a cover for it. I sold the B6 Apunto. The reason why I sold the Apunto is because I didn't like how this theology laid in the Apunto. It was really annoying. I didn't find it fit right um, for me personally. Like I don't, it just didn't work. I never really felt attached to it. And in fact, it kind of just, I don't know, after a while it kind of grossed me out. Like I didn't even really like how it looked, um, even though I knew it was pretty and it was expensive. So I sold that. I don't know whose hands it is in now because I think it, it switched hands uh, again after I sold it. And then I still have my work finder. Um, to update you, again, most of this is confidential, like even more so than before, but I have the first section is um, these same inserts where I write out what to do each day. And I, again, I don't use it every day, but sometimes I'm in meetings and I just need a place to like write out a whole list. Um, the section, section, oh my gosh, second section, that's terrible, is my um, calendar. And I have to say, one of the, my biggest pet peeves right now with the A5 is that there's half size and there's A5 size. And I have a miss, like a, a mishmash of insert sizes in here. Half size, A5, like my personal attempt at making A5 out of half size. Um, and it is infuriatingly, like, I, it's hard for me sometimes to look at it. So, like, I don't even know if I can find it. Let me see if I can find one in here that I have. Yeah, so for example, these are any plans A5, I believe this is true A5, whereas my cloth and paper uh, calendar inserts that I'm using for my weekly spread, they're a little bit wider. Um, they just don't match, so I don't know, bear with me with that, it just like completely drives me nuts. So I have weekly all the way through September, or December. Um, wow, I didn't realize I have it all in there. I switched these rings out for 35 millimeters for anyone who didn't know if these look really large to you. Um, they are really large and you really can't use side tabs uh, with them because of how large they are. Um, but I love them. They make sure I can fit everything and it this largely stays on my desk. So The next section is my finance section and so this is what I have been trying to uh, sort out uh, since I promised you guys a, f a video on my finance section. I actually have video, I have done a video recording of my screen to show you the computer digital side of my finance planning, my budget, um, but I'm still working out inserts. Um, I used to keep this all in my pocket, but I switched it over to my A5 because I found um, it just worked better. But reoccurring tasks, I can't show you too much, but to buy online orders. I don't use this insert. I realize that I just don't use it. I, So I kind of stopped using it. Um, my savings tracker, how much we move over, a tracker of my of my retirement account or our retirement account, HSA balance, um, so I can keep track of that, a list of all of our credit card limits, um, just because it's kind of fun to know, like, oh my god, I don't, I just sometimes it's crazy how much money they give you. Um, and then I have a closing date calendar here where it shows, these are all Peanuts Planner Co, but these show like when certain closing dates are, when their due dates are. Then I have monthly bills section, and so it, I'll list everything out, and then I'll check the, I'll put the amount down, and I'll check it off, and I'll put if it's auto, when it comes out, when it's due. I have some note paper here because inevitably I like to write out and do like manual calculations. Um, so that's for each paycheck. I only get, my husband and I just get paid once a month, so it kind of simplifies things for us. Um, payment tracker, I have like three payments left on my car. Um, I have a couple other, like we took out a, a um, no interest thing for our furniture, so. Um, and then, so that, yeah, that's where I'm like, I don't even know if you guys need a video for this. For my finance, so I might like renege on my promise and say, yeah, like it's really not that interesting. You guys let me know. The next section is my big section for work, and I can't really show you any of this, but it's um, a project case manager for all the cases that I'm assigned to, and it also holds my work trip inserts. 
the next section is just meeting notes, so nothing crazy there. Um, I use my nice minted sugar inserts, they're super pretty. And then the next section is my goals and accomplishments. I really like this section. Uh, for anyone who's, you know, in a job and you guys are, you know, you're trying to advance, trying to kind of keep track, I write down any feedback I get, negative, positive, constructive feedback, anything that I hear people do that I'm like, ooh, that's, that's a good idea, or I should do that, or, you know, I should hold that type of meeting, or people that I find I want to, I would like them to be my mentor, or I want to schedule time to meet with them to, like, pick their brain. I uh, write that down in here as well. Um, I was tracking kind of how many people, how many training sessions I did because um, that kind of helped. If there's anything that I'm being tracked by metric wise, by numbers, such as like how long a case is running or whatever, um, how many people I trained, I write it all down so then when it comes to end of the year or mid-year reviews, I can just like, oh, there it is. I trained 800 people or something like that and it's in there. Um, same stuff's in the back. Here I have a lot of, uh, inserts, not inserts, but just emails from my boss that have a lot of good advice in them. Um, emails back and forth about case evaluations and settlement value and, um, reserves I have in there as well. So yeah, this is... This is my work planner. So that's how it all that's how it all fits together. I really love this system. It's working very well. I wish I could figure out I wish I could get inserts that were all were all properly printed, all perfectly cut. I don't care really how much they are. Um like I wish someone would print me my the Peanuts Paper Co. inserts, cut them into A5 for me, or I don't even know. So maybe someday she'll bring back um uh gosh, not qualified printers, but Authorized printers, yes. Um, like some shops have authorized people that they've dedicated that said that they've authorized to print their inserts for them. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, let me know if you guys have any ideas about what I should do with this. Um, I really like it, but I think it's starting to curve in, and I think it it'd be better if it did have that width. Um, I don't know if do some of you guys do personal and personal wide inserts. I mean, I guess that's something you could do. Like maybe if I did primarily personal wide, but then at the same time had um, some personal inserts in there. So Prenet's Planner Co. is coming out with personal wide inserts. Um, she hasn't given a definite date, but they are coming. I She is working on them. So I, um, I may just hold out and I may actually switch into a different planner because um, I don't know. The strap is also longer on this. I did double check that she did, um, the person who may have this made custom that I bought it from did ask for, um, a little bit longer strap. So it holds quite a bit. Like, it's 30 millimeter rings, but I can hold more than a, than I could able, could, I could in a Gilio, Just because of the, um, the extra fabric and so forth and how it was designed specifically to hold wider inserts. So... All right, you guys, let me know if you have questions. Again, uh, like or dislike so that I know what you guys think about my videos. Comment, please. Um, if you comment and you have an Instagram, include your Instagram handle because um, that helps me identify you guys better. And then um, feel free to uh, find me on Instagram as well, SM Plans. All right, you guys, have a good day.